crafty friends. I am here today with an introduction to my newest little crafty friend. This is the mini Stampin' Cut and Embossing Machine from Stampin' Up! And it is going to be available to customers beginning on January 5th. I just wanted to give you a quick introduction to this cute little machine because you might be wondering why would I need a little machine? Now I have a large die cutting machine and it's very heavy, kind of unwieldy and sits in one spot and um, is just not as functional to use. And for most of my cutting needs, I don't need to have a large cutting surface. So this little machine, I was very excited when it came out because as you can see, it fits very nicely it's even smaller than this 11 inch wide piece of paper with the little platforms put out. When you're done, all you have to do is just snap them shut and look how small of a footprint this takes. Now, what comes with this machine? Well, there are several different plates that are included in the package. The very first one is your base, and then you get top plates, and you get two of the cutting plate that you use with dies. You get one for an embossing folder, and this is for a thin regular folder, and then you get one for a 3D embossing folder, and you can see the difference in thickness between the two. Now the awesome thing about this versus a Sizzix machine is that you don't have to have the blue or the pink plate that slides onto your cutting platform in order to use it. You just swap out your uh, top plates and you're done. That's it. There's no fiddling around trying to figure out where you put the pink embossing folder um, insert. If you've been doing a lot of die cutting, sometimes they happen to disappear. So those are the plates that you get with it. Now, what can you use it with? So here are two examples of different embossing folders that will fit through this new machine. And these, uh, this one is from the annual catalog. And this one is the wrapped in texture embossing folders which were in the uh, fall and winter mini catalog that's currently um, available right now. And you have seen the embossing folders in there used in two recent cards that I've made. And here you can see, this is kind of what I refer to as the nutmeg one. And then this one looks like a basket leaf. I've made a couple of different cards using this one. Uh, there was the Autumn Greetings Get Well card as well, uh, using the same purple paper and embossing folder. And as you can see on a regular sized card front, even though this is a relatively narrow embossing folder, it was more than adequate to run paper through to take up most of the front of a card with it. In addition, you can also find uh, Pretty much most of the dies will fit within this um, cutting plate size. And so these cutting plates are uh, seven inches wide by three, almost, uh, almost three and a half inches wide by seven inches long. So that can fit pretty much most of the dies, not all of them, um, obviously, you know, background dies, but for the most part, most of the dies that we would use in making flowers or stamping sentiments out or cutting sentiments out will fit through this little machine, which makes it really versatile to just be able to sit right there on your crafting workspace and not have the big giant um, full-size one taking up a bunch of space. So here's a quick comparison between the size of the mini folders and the size of a regular sized folder. So you can see it's almost pretty much 80% the size of a regular folder. 
I will be using this on future videos. So uh, just wanted to give you a quick preview and uh, have you take a look at some of the ways that you can use this, um, as well as the very mini sides to be able to fit onto your desktop. Thanks so much. Hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye-bye.